Hello there, I'm Christian from Aquamorph Productions, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do muzzle flare using GIMP and Sony Vegas. Alright, so first off, let me show you what the final project is going to look like. Alright, so that looks pretty sweet, huh? So to start off, let's open up GIMP. And while I'm waiting to load, um, let me tell you a few things. First off, um, when you create the new, your new document, you're going to want to create in whatever aspect ratio your film is going to be. So if you're in 4x3, it needs to be a 4x3 aspect ratio. So, start off, I'm going to sh create a new all right, image, and let's do 1080 by 720. And this aspect ratio is 16 by 9. It's one of the most common right now. 4 by 3 might be something like 640 by 480. So anyways, hit OK. And click right here. It will just reset your color palette to black and white, just in case you're doing something earlier. And hit the bucket tool and bucket fill black. All right, so now it's black. You're going to want to create a new layer. If your layer menu is not up, just hit control L and there it is. So now hit new. By default it's on transparency and whatever resolution it was. Don't need to name it, it doesn't matter. So hit new, it's now has a new layer and switch this over to white, go to the pencil tool, probably going to want the biggest thing and um, we want a pretty big size circle, so I already made it the biggest circle brush you can have. So one way you can adjust this is by adjusting the scale. So let's try a scale of 3. That looks about right. Just put it somewhere in the center. And so you now have a nice circle. So now switch back the scale to 1, which is what it's normally at and go to the smallest circle brush which is one it's basically a dot and hit around the left center ish around here just click and hold down shift see how it creates a line what this is doing is it's when i click again it'll create a line from whatever that line was in whatever brush you're using so do that again and just kinda create this type of shape I'm going to do it one more time around the same size. Alright, so that looks pretty good. So, what I'm doing is, as you saw from the video earlier, the footage I have is the guy shooting the gun and the camera's at the side. So, the muzzle flare is going to have one thing going off here and one going off here, and then the bullet comes out here. You want this one to be slightly longer than the other flares. It just looks better that way. All right. And if if you were shooting at at the camera, the gun was pointed at the camera, you'd have four equally sized ones. It just really depends. You can custom draw it to whatever the situation is. Back to the bucket tool, make sure you're on white and just fill in these areas. There we go. Alrighty. So now go to filters and go to blur, Gaussian blur. And let's move it on over to see what this looks like. Um, and make sure these things are locked so you adjust both at the same time. And keep blurring. Oop, that looks. You want it blurred to about this amount so it's. Um, almost everywhere is blurred so it's no longer you hit okay so it should look like this and what this is doing is when I color correct it or adjust the colors it will make it look like it's on fire if you don't do it this way it just doesn't work so now click right on that layer and hit move down and now you go to color and color balance so I have a preset already that I made called fire number one and see how it makes it um, look like it's 
like flames are shooting out. It looks kind of fiery. It has white from a really like it has some light and some fire. It looks really nice for a muzzle flare. So um, how to, how you get this preset is on shadows on the first um, right here. The first thing you edit, you put it on a hundred. The second input box, you put thirty. The third, you put negative thirty like this. All right. And same with the mint tones, the shadow and mint tones are set to the exact same thing. The highlights are different. It's pretty easy for the highlights. It's just the first input box, 100, the second one, 0, and the last one, negative 100. So it should look like this when you're done. Hit OK. So this looks pretty good. Now the only problem is you still have this black background, and the black background was needed to get the blurring just right. But here's what you need to do. You need to use your magic wand tool and select there. You have 15 threshold right here. Should be good enough. And just delete. All right. Now hit. Now select everything. You can use Control Shift All. There we go. Alrighty. And there you had to have this blob. But the black looks awful. You don't want that in your. Thing. So here's what you do. You go back to filters, blur, and Gaussian blur, and you do basically the same thing, maybe a little less blur. Let's see. That looks pretty good. Hit OK. And it kind of eliminates the black and makes the black kind of a shadow. It looks really nice. So you can uh, play with this to get it to look perfect. And once you're done that, you want to save it as a PNG image. I already have one made that I use that I've spent some time working on. So let me show you the video I have. Basically, I have a sound effect, and the guy shoots the person. But it would look so much better with a um, muzzle flare there. So let me import the one I've been working on. And let me show you why you want to make it in the aspect ratio that it comes in. So start off on the new thing. You want to have a new layer and you want to add the muzzle flare on top of your video. So click right and hit pan and crop. Now if you notice if I move... actually wait, no you can't see it yet. Sorry, let me move. There we go. Alright, so now you can see it. Now the reason why you want your video, your picture to be in the same aspect ratio as it is with as your movie is, is because I have this as a square box and when you move it outside of the box it doesn't show up but that's not a problem for this video because the muzzle flare should be inside the square block box but normally you want it to be in 16x9, 4x3 whatever, this video is in 2K and so you're going to want to make sure right here that these two things are on so you want that to lock the aspect ratio so now you can just make this zoom out and shrink it down to whatever size you think it should be. That looks pretty good. Maybe a little smaller. There we go. And it has a nice little muzzle flare. So now that you know where it is, now you need to move it over to where the gun actually does the shooting part where it moves up. It may sound weird that it does this, but real time, it looks better this way. This is what the frame looks like, but the frame goes by so quickly that you don't notice that the gun's moved up. It's just like a kickback, so it makes it look better. And let's see how it looks. Looks pretty good. And you're all done. This has been a Knockmore production. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel, and goodbye.